Hello everyone, this is Chris and this is my channel Barnon11970. Thank you for taking the time to check out one of my videos. And this one is going to be relatively quick and to the point. Almost to the point of ridiculousness. And I'm going to show you guys how we choose to allow other people's opinions, whether they are hurtful, painful, threatening, or seem to make sense, how they we choose to allow them to affect us. Now, I'm going to ask you a very silly thing, like the title says, which is probably what made you curious enough to want to watch this video. Point blank. Are you a frog? Think about that. Just think about that and just answer the question. Don't think, read anything into it. Don't think it's silly or ridiculous. Just answer the question. Are you a frog? Yes or no? Well, hopefully you said no, because if you are, then you're a frog with the ability to watch videos. So congratulations, you've gone up the chain of evolution in the uh, reptile world. But since most people are going to say, no, I'm not a frog. Well, what if I now say to you, I think you're a frog. See how ridiculous that sounds? Does that make you a frog? Because I decided to say, oh, well, I think you're a frog. Or what if I say, I know you're a frog. Or I can't believe you're not a frog. Everybody else is a frog. Or you're stupid. Does that make you a frog? So... Again, when I say things like all things happen for a reason, well, the reason that I had to kind of walk away from this channel for a little while and then go in a different direction and then end up the very reason I left here, they followed me and hurt me, well, tried to hurt me again, is I had to finally understand and comprehend that whatever anyone else says, whether it's an accusation, true or not, exaggerated or not, straight out lie, or their perception of truth, what they say is nothing more than our, their opinion. It only affects us if we allow it to. So if somebody calls you a frog, you're not going to sit there and say, oh, am I a frog? I, I don't think I am, but somebody said I am. Somebody threatened me. Everybody else supposedly says they're frogs. So I guess I am too. Well, if you choose to be, then I guess what? You're a frog. But if you could see it for the ridiculousness of it, and that's the whole purpose of this video is to understand that other people will say things maybe in a threatening way, an embarrassing way, and maybe in their absolute way, where it's their version of the truth. But it only affects you if you allow it to. Because again, and I've said it in other videos, it all comes down to choice. So just choose to abandon the hurtful people because they're just sharing their opinions through their ignorance, through their anger, through their payments that they receive for them. Who knows? But who cares? If you look up at the sky and the sky is blue, who cares if somebody else says it's it's purple or gray or non-existent? Because their truth is maybe it does look purple or gray, or maybe they look up and they don't see anything. So maybe their truth is it is what they say. So maybe what they believe is their truth. Doesn't mean it has to be yours. And that's how easily... Governments throughout history have ruled people is making their beliefs into yours. Because if you tell a lie long enough, it becomes your truth. And truth is nothing more than your perception. Take a um, take a thing of toilet paper, the tube at the end. You see it's round. Well, if you put the light to the round part of that tube, it will reflect a circle on the wall. But if you take the long way of the tube and shine it against the light against the wall, it will show an appearance of a rectangle. Two different shapes from the same thing. Why is it different? Because it's different angles. In other words, different perspectives. So if I'm looking and I see a rectangle, that's my truth. If you saw it the other way and saw the circle, that's your truth. It doesn't make either one wrong. It just means your perception was different. So some of the quote unquote haters, not the ones being paid to hate, but I'm talking about the ones that just don't like somebody or don't agree with them. Maybe it's because their truth is different. It doesn't make this right, even if everybody else in the world or in the universe agrees with them. So if you're the only one that believes in your truth, that's the only one that matters. So don't let anybody influence you because that's what gets you depressed. That's what gets you sad. That's what makes you think you have no hope. You have whatever you want to believe you have because you will create whatever truth you want to instill in yourself because there is nothing but infinity, which means you have infinite choices. There is no prophecy. There is no destiny. Unless you allow it yourself to believe there is, then you'll do nothing to change it. and You'll create the very thing that they said. Oh, see, told you that's the destiny because you didn't change it. 
if I went up to you and said, my destiny, I saw the future, and the future says I'm going to punch you in the face. Well, if I go and punch you in the face and you don't do anything, well, then I created that to be true. And so did you because you didn't stop it. And if I said, that's the destiny, you can't do anything about it. I'm a fortune teller. I'm always right. Your fortune is you're about to get punched in the face. If you sit there and say, oh, well, I guess if it's my destiny, I have no choice. So what are you going to do? You're going to stand there. And guess what? You're going to get punched in the face. So guess what? You made it to be true. But if you block it or if you run away or you punch me first, you've changed it. It's that easy. But unfortunately, you're taught all your life. If it's too good to be true, it usually is. Guess what? You believe that too. Time to reprogram the wires, everyone. Thanks for watching. This is Chris. This is my channel, Barn on 11970. Thanks for listening to my little educational spot. Hope it made you think. And I hope it will share. If you care, then please share. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.